Okay, listen, dude, some wild screenshots came out today about YouTuber Chunka Conroy, a YouTuber with around a million subscribers who does primarily gaming content generally surrounded by Nintendo stuff. Anyways, some screenshots are being spread around alleging that he tried to initiate feet-oriented roleplay with a fan while he had a girlfriend. Before this starts, I want to say this is for news and documenting purposes only. Gotta cover myself here. Scrolling through Reddit and seeing dozens of comments calling the popular YouTuber who harassed you for several months last year a wholesome bean with only green flags. Just to get this off my chest, last year Chunka Conroy kept trying to get me to initiate feet-oriented roleplay. Uh, that's not what it said. I'm gonna let you read between the lines here. With him, while he also had a girlfriend. This includes sending shoes to my house under a guise of a gift, only to constantly ask for feet pics afterwards. Eventually, I started ignoring him because I wasn't sure how to navigate around him, clearly trying to rope me into weird stuff. And in return, his messages got more frequent and aggressive. So I'm gonna show you the noteworthy messages here. There's a lot here, so I'm gonna just show you the stuff that proves the point. So beautiful. I originally planned to go with black and floral pattern, but they lacked in your size, so I went with what I thought would lo most likely go with any clothes. Haha, <laughs> it's my personal favorite shoe. Do I get to see you in them? Ha, <laughs> thank you, I got a lot done. I want to finish the series or at least get close so I can travel to Scotland to see my significant other soon. Oh, I didn't realize she was in Scotland. Yeah, pretty far, but we're thinking about immigration next year. Would you like to pick up where we left off last night? Haha, <laughs> it dropped off suddenly. You tend to disappear. Oh, gotta ping you once more. Well, hello. Have a nice doctor's visit? Sorry for the ping again. I just wanted to dump. Oh, damn, you're no fun. Kidding, kidding. Just a little concerned. Sorry, that was rude of me. I shouldn't say stuff like that. Even jokingly. You do have your own stuff going on as much as I do. Hey, hey, sorry I'm bugging you too much. I'm just getting done with work and I, I hadn't heard or saw back. Hey, yo, how's today? Feeling any better? Hi, sorry if I'm bugging you. I understand you got your own stuff going on. I just wanted to wish you well tonight after seeing you talking about how much sick you have been and set you back. I've really enjoyed talking to you more than I thought. Of. I'll leave you be after this message in case you need to rest. I missed you. Are you doing any better? Blah, blargin. <laughs> hey, hope I'm not piling it on. I just saw you were on. Hello. Uh, some other ones that weren't in this specific message were also included later in the thread. Is that the face you'd make if I ran off with your shoes at a con? Ha ha ha, dot dot dot. What would you even do? Yeah, being forward with you because I'd rather not keep anything from you and let you make the best decision for you. I am into that, but only with my significant other. I also like talking about shoes just with people because it's also an interest. I talked to my significant other about this when we started dating and she told me I can talk about shoes with other people because it isn't weird with my my friends. It's also something I enjoy talking about with my friends too. Good. Glad we understand each other. Walks up behind you and trips you with some fancy footwork. You thud to the ground and I yank your sneakers off in an instant. Haha, <laughs> loser. Chucks them at you. <laughs> Anyways, obviously Twitter had a field day with this. I want to say going into this that these are all allegations right now. There's no proof. So just keep that in mind as we're going through this, okay? Very disappointed to hear about Chunka Conroy acting creepy like that. Don't ask me for details. The site has a free search bar. Not because I knew him personally or even watched his video, but thinking about how many people face similar harassment in silence. Just write into the Chunka Conroy stuff and take that seriously, please. Read over it and don't immediately hop into skepticism because it's a YouTuber you like. This sucks tremendously, but take things like that seriously Seriously, regardless of if that's your favorite creator. Please do not make the Chunga Conroy situation about Paper Mario. It is not relevant to this at all. It makes sense now as to why Chunga Conroy loved this game so much. And then it shows it shows a screenshot from Paper Mario. Remembering the pro Jared situation from a few years ago, I don't think that it would be smart to choose sides on this yet, considering the lack of evidence supporting the accusations. Until more people come forward or we hear about Chunga Conroy himself, I'm not gonna make a stance yet. Not Chunga Conroy trying to get someone's attention with Blarkin! <laughs> Chunga Conroy drama sucks, but we may have unintentionally gotten one of the funniest Discord messages ever. Could work. Um, if I may be so bold. Dot dot dot. Sneaker size? Chunga Conroy at the Foot Locker. Hey, Chunga Conroy, do you like my new shoes? Oh my god! <laughs> Every fan of Chunka Conroy right now. Tore me apart, but I learned an important lesson. You can't count on- Expecting Chunka Conroy's response to be something like this. I think if we all just take a couple of deep breaths here and just try to- Heard about the Chunka Conroy news on my way home from work and crashed my car. Chunka Conroy when he reached the footprint guy's house in Pokemon Platinum Let's Play? Nah, Chunka Conroy did what? Chunka Conroy, you're a freaky little fella, aren't ya? <laughs> then it's just a screenshot. Okay, I'm gonna miss your shoes, dot, dot, dot. It's kind of nice being their caretaker again. Looks at them in my hands, dot, dot, dot. As hard as it was at times, they stunk horribly. Oh yeah, sorry about that. It is what it is. Man, 
big and stinky. You've got it all. I'll leave Twitter until March if someone can post a screenshot of her telling him to stop. I want to see that too, but haven't seen anything yet. Explaining the chunk of Conroy news to my sister. Imagine if Bob Ross kept asking you to fart for him. So I got tagged in this tweet from Chunk of Conroy from 2009. Not that. Don't make me smell your feet again. It put me in a coma where I dreamt the Pope was my cousin last time. The foreshadowing is crazy. And Salvo Pancakes chime in saying, destigmatize foot fetishes. Okay, so I'm actually stopping mid-edit right here, but Chuck Conroy just released a statement about this on Twitter saying, hey, I wanted to say sorry to Emily and to you, our community. I apologize for my mistake of overstepping boundaries of our friendship and causing her to hurt in the process. This will not happen again. I'd rather have time to collect my thoughts than react immediately, and I'd ask that you not contact my friends about this. I will talk about this more in a few days. There were generally two reactions to this. On one side, there were people joking joking about it. Buy me some shoes and I'll forgive you. Bigfoot leaving the scene before he sneaks a peek. Then also there are people completely siding with him. You have nothing to apologize for. I might just be a defender, but I think this is a good apology. At least he's taking accountability and apologize for what happened. I think that's good enough. Don't be sorry, dude. She ghosted you and didn't give her boundaries of anything. You literally did nothing wrong other than cheating on your girlfriend, who you should be confiding your intimacies with. But in regards to your behavior, Emily was unclear with her distaste and was not well communicative of her intent. Her ick is her blame. This tweet pretty much summarizes my thoughts on this. Y'all, stop telling him he did nothing wrong. You're not supposed to repeatedly ping your friends in hopes that they do a foot fish roleplay with you. Following this, Emily actually posted a response almost like immediately. She says, well, I'm not sure if I fully accept. I do wish the best in growing from this. I find the framing of this as a simple mistake concerning. So far, I've talked to half a dozen women who have shared similar stories. I hope your future apology acknowledges that this isn't just an isolated incident with me, but a pattern of behavior with several women over the course of the past decade. I hope you're willing to own up to that fact and re-examine the way that you interact with your fans and your peers and women in general going forward. A few more people chime in after it's all said and done. Wait, before I forget, the Chuck O'Conroy situation having people defend him by saying, oh well, what if he didn't know? What if he was just awkward? Is using weaponized incompetence and places the onus of blame onto the recipient of weird comments when that isn't how it works. I'm not a huge fan of Chuck Conroy, but I will admit he kind of messed up and did not read the room properly. Conversely, Emily is at fault for not keeping it private and escalating it to public problems. This should have been resolved behind closed doors, and yet here we are. The internet realizing Chuck Conroy is a foot freak. Oh my god, that came out of nowhere. Did it? Anyways, I think this is wild. It's kind of crazy to see all the responses here and coming in so quickly. I want to know what you guys think about this. Are you signing with Lady Emily or accepting Chugga's apology? Anyways, that's about it. Be sure to have your notifications on for whenever Chugga Conroy updates come out. And I'll be sure to get those updates out to you as soon as possible. Anyways, I'm out.